Hi everyone. In the series of question and answers from industrial microbiology, we are going to discuss one more question that is explain in brief about the advantages and disadvantages of liquid and solid state fermentations. The liquid fermentations are also going to be called as submerged fermentations. So let's see the answer for this question. Advantages and disadvantages of liquid fermentation. The first one, the liquid fermentation is also going to be called as submerged fermentation. And this liquid fermentation or submerged fermentation is going to utilize the free flowing liquid substrate. That's the name why we call it as a liquid fermentation. For example, molasses and the nutrient broths. And this liquid fermentation is an operation that involves the growth of microorganisms in a liquid broth or medium. And this is going to be mainly used in the production and development of antibiotics, industrial enzymes or other products. Then what are the advantages of this liquid fermentation? Number one, this has going to be of a advantages of having the short period that means we can get the product within the short period and it is going to take the low cost then high yielding capacity and the purification of the products is also very easier when compared to the solid state and this liquid culture is going to uh, control of the fermentation is very simpler that means we can control the ph temperature all the things in a very easier manner and consequently, significant reductions in the fermentation times can be achieved. In the same manner, the use of the submerged or liquid culture can benefit the production of secondary metabolites and decrease production cost by reducing the labor involved in the solid state method. So these are the few liquid or submerged fermentation advantages. Then moving to the disadvantages of this liquid fermentation. In recent years, many researchers have demonstrated that solid state fermentation has a large impact on productivity and leading to the higher yields and improved product characteristics compared to this liquid. That means they have said that we are having the most uh, advantages when compared to the liquid fermentation from the solid state. The reasons are it is having a low volumetric productivity and relatively low concentration of the products are going to get uh, and the base stage is going to be more, more effluent generation that is nothing but it. Then complex fermentation equipments are required, high cost due to the expensive media. Expenses for equipment are also high because of the complex fermentation equipment and the consumption of electrical energy is higher. The process is very sensitive, that means the light changes may change the total fermentation pro product and agitation, aeration is often essential which is also a crucial step and chances of contamination is more. So these are the few disadvantages of uh, liquid fermentation. Then moving to the advantages and disadvantages of uh, solid state fermentation which is simply called as SSF. This SSF or solid state fermentation involves the growth of microorganisms on solid, normally organic materials in the absence of uh, free water. That means here there will be no water. We are going to take the solid substances to ferment the product or to grow the microorganism. And these SSF are going to be majorly the batch process. They are not a continuous or fed batch. It's a completely the batch process and the bioreactors that we are going to use in this fermentation are rotating drum fermenters, tray drum, uh, sorry, tray fermenters, bed systems, column bioreactor, fluidizer reactors. So these are the examples of certain fermenters that means the equipment that we are using for this uh, solid state fermentation. Then coming to the advantages of uh, solid state fermentation, this is going to provide the superior productivity and we have the low cost media that means uh, 
the fermentation media may be taken from many domestic wastage or industrial wastage or the agriculture wastage and then low capital cost and we can have the simple technology and energy requirements is going to be highly reduced when compared to the liquid and no problems with the foaming low waste water output as we are uh, using the solid state so there is no question of having the waste water no need for uh, sterilization then less microbial contamination and easy downstream processing so these are the few advantages of uh, solid state fermentation then moving to the disadvantages of a uh, single state fermentation the microbial growth is very slow and the problem with heat up uh, build up that means there will be rise in the temperatures and difficulties and can encountered on the scale up process also and we are having problems in controlling the uh, processing parameters such as carbon dioxide oxygen temperature ph moisture content etc and we are having the limitations in the product formation substrate moisture level is also difficult to control and difficulties in the product purification so these are the few disadvantages of uh, solid state fermentation so we have seen the uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, both liquid fermentation and the solid state fermentation so we will meet with uh, one more question in another video thank you